Hello everybody, Inter Inter back again with a reaction video after this Australian Open final earlier today when Novak Djokovic totally destroyed Rafael Nadal with 3-0 6-3, 6-2, 6-3 six, Honestly, uh, who believed that this one this was one going to be a really one-sided affair? I personally believed that Novak Djokovic would win this match and I even previewed this uh, yesterday. I thought it won it gonna be a three one victory for Novak. Uh, I uh, I know that um, uh, Rafael Nadal has very difficulties against Novak, and uh, Novak is a very bad matchup for uh, Rafa, and that's why I previewed before that Novak will win this contest with three one. But I could never in my mind imagine that Novak will destroy Nadal in this in this way really because Nadal is a 17 time Grand Slam champion and Novak really he really made Nadal look like he was an, uh, an average uh, player not in the top 10 let alone the uh, uh, world number two but uh, the way Novak uh, really destroyed Nadal with uh, a perfect match really Novak could not really do a bad thing on court he only made uh, nine unforced errors. And nine unforced errors. It's uh, really unbelievable. To, to make only nine unforced errors, a player like Nadal, who always make, makes his opponents do a lot of unforced errors because he's so good in the def in, in, he's so good uh, as to defend, and he's so good from the baseline, and he is so good to not give three points away. But besides this, besides this, Novak, despite despite this, Novak made only nine unforced errors and made a really, really fabulous match from the first to the last point. Really, he served amazing, amazingly well. Novak's serve is actually a little underrated, to be quite honest with you, people. It's not a Isner or Karlovic or Raonic serve, of course not. But it's better than people think, actually. All right, it doesn't serve as good as Federer either. But his service, in my opinion, underrated. It's better than than what many people think. So, and he proved that today. But he, today he served amazingly well. I have not seen him serve this good, to be quite honest. I have never seen Novak serve this good like he did in this final. Nadal had only one break point opportunity in three sets. Only one, and Novak saved that. But that's proofs. That is only proof how good Novak served today. All in all, this was a tremendous performance from 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 Novak Djokovic. Really, he he is really one of the greatest tennis players of all time, with 15 Grand Slam titles after winning today, and he is surpassing Pistol Pete, which he shared that that third place before with 14 but now he's in the third place with 15 alone behind Rafael Nadal with 17 and Roger Federer with 20. I have to be honest people I uh, never thought that we're gonna see a, a Novak Djokovic from, the, from 2011 and 2015 shape again from because uh, in um, in my opinion, the two, the 2011 and the 2015 Novak Djokovic was out of this world level. Really, he won three Grand Slam in 2011, he, and he won three Grand Slams in 2015. He also, he was pretty much unbeatable those two years, and I thought that that was the 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 two times that Novak Djokovic has peaked at his absolute best and i thought personally that he's not gonna peak for the third time like that again i have sh i have said this many times in my in my comments uh, in youtube and things like that i have always believed that novak Djokovic will win grand slam titles in the future even after he was uh, even after he he was uh, he, he had a bad year in 2017 when he didn't want any grand slam title and even when he struggled into the, in the first six months of uh, in the two, in, two, in 2018, I always believed that he gonna win more slams. 
but I never and I, I thought that he has a great chance to surpass Rafael Nadal because he was only he had 10 months ago he had uh, 12 Grand Slam titles and I thought that Novak Djokovic has absolutely great opportunity to to catch Nadal who had uh, 16 that time before French Open last year uh, so uh, I thought that he he definitely had a, had a great chance of surpassing of catching and surpassing Nadal, but I never thought that he has a chance of catching and surpassing Roger Federer. To be quite honest, because I am always honest, I I don't like to lie. I thought that Federer with twenty Grand Slams and and Djokovic with twelve, eight, uh, nine, nine, ten months ago, I thought that that gap was too too big even for a great great player like Novak Djokovic. But I, I must be honest with you people, after these three Grand Slam titles that he has won in a row, Wimbledon, US Open and now Australian Open today, I am pretty, con uh, con I am pretty convinced that he's going to catch Nadal and surpass him. But I think that he has a great chance of catching and surpassing even the great Roger Federer as well, to be quite honest. Because, yeah, he has only two up to Nadal, that's definitely a possible uh, a possible gap that he can he, he can take but even uh, Roger Federer with with five ahead of Novak Djokovic that's not impossible either people because he uh, Novak Djokovic is 31 years old all right he is not 25 26 27 uh, anymore and 31 years old in tennis it's not crazy young to say the least but tennis players are not retiring like 10 to 15 years ago when they were 30 31 32 years old like people like players like uh, like players like Pete, uh, Pete Sampras and Bjorn Borg Bjorn Borg he retired even earlier than so he was 26 or 25 or something like that player has have is is having a longer career nowadays just see Roger Federer he's 37 years old and he's still playing tennis in a in a very high level, he's he he won his he won his latest Grand Slam title when he was 36 years old. All, all right, I know Roger Federer has a different kind of tennis style. He doesn't spend energy uh, like uh, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. So it's not a coincidence that Roger Federer is still playing as as 37 years old. It's it's not quite sure that Novak Djokovic will do that. But I think definitely Novak Djokovic can play tennis in a very high level until he's 35 years old at least. I really think so. He has three, four more years to catch Roger Federer's uh, Grand Slam record, and I think he definitely can do that. People, it's definitely not impossible. Now, now I'm not saying that it, to win uh, Grand Slam titles, it's a, it's a, it's a walk in the park. Not even for a huge, great player like Novak Djokovic, but he definitely can win two Grand Slam titles in the upcoming years, in two, three years that we have we have ahead of us. Definitely two at least two maybe even three but i don't think he will win four in one year i i heard somebody say earlier today and now that he has won the Australian open title he he's gonna win all four majors in in the same calendar year yeah i know it's possible but i really don't think that he will do that because every time now and then you always face a player who's gonna have a a magical day like Say for like uh, Stan Wawrinka in 2015 when he when he beat Novak Djokovic in, in, in the French Open final, Stan Wawrinka probably made his match of his life that day. And uh, in 2011 he faced Ro uh, Roger Federer in French Open as well in the semi final, and Federer made one of his best performances performances ever in his career when he beat Ro uh, Novak Djokovic in that French Open fin uh, semi final in 2011. So. I don't think that uh, uh, Novak Djokovic will win all the four calendar years this year, to be quite honest, because it's too much of a task, I believe, because he he will sooner or later run into a, a player who has a magical day and he will get defeated, I think. But two or three majors, he definitely can win. And the biggest challenge will, will be to win the French Open, because French Open, he's, we all know that who is the... Who is the a big favorite there it's Rafael Nadal even though Djokovic has won that title as well in 2016 and has beaten Nadal in 2015 so is it somebody who can challenge Nadal in French Open in four to five months from now it's definitely Novak Djokovic but more of that 
uh, later on. But what can we say about this uh, of this final? Novak Djokovic was supreme from the first to the last point, really. I don't want to say that Nadal did a fabulous match because he didn't. He didn't. He he made a lot of unforced errors to be to be Rafael Nadal because Rafael Nadal is not known to to make a many many unforced errors. He is known to be very 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 solid from 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 the baseline and not give much free points to his opponents. So he he made it I think twenty nine or twenty eight unforced errors something like that, and it's way too much for to be Rafael Nadal and it's way too much to beat a, a player like Novak Djokovic in this shape. But on the other hand, now, uh, Rafa Nadal feels the pressure because he knows that M Novak Djokovic has all the weapons to hurt Nadal. He knows that Novak Djokovic is a version of Nadal himself. Good from the baseline, very strong uh, physically, uh, doesn't do a much, much unforced errors himself, uh, has all the shots, forehand, backhand, and especially one shot that I think Rafa Nadal hurts every player in the world. Every player, base every player, every play, player he hurts with that shot, and it is his huge forehand with with depth and with speed and with pace. Rafa's forehand against uh, uh, the player's backhand. He he makes a lot of damage to every player in the planet, people, but not against Novak Djokovic. Not against Novak Djokovic because Novak Djokovic loves of taking that shot on the rise. He loves of of taking that shot early, and he s hammers that shot. People, he has so good backhand, one of the greatest two-handed backhand of history of the game in my people, in my in my opinion. Uh, Novak Djokovic returns, and Novak Djokovic's two single-handed backhand are one of the. Tennis history's greatest shots, in my opinion. And when Rafa Nadal tries to play that, that game plan against Novak Djokovic like he does against everybody else, it doesn't work against Djokovic because Djokovic has the answers, people. He only takes the, the, um, uh, Rafa's forehand early, he takes it on the rise, and he, he, he just hammers it. And he, he, he does that. He 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 is he isn't afraid of challenging Rafa's forehand. Everybody are afraid of of challenging Rafa's forehand, and I understand them because that forehand is one of the greatest shots that we have ever seen from Nadal. But Novak Djokovic has so great backhand that he hammers Rafa's forehand, and he goes for winners. He hits it deep. He hits it hard. So basically, Rafa. He, he 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 feels confused on the court. He feels helpless when he when he meets Novak Djokovic because Novak Djokovic has all the answers to Nadal's game plan, and that's why we saw this outcome today in straight sets. Even though this is a surprising outcome, I thought Novak would will win this contest with three one. I definitely didn't think that Novak would would beat Nadal in this way in three straight. Simply sets six, three, six, two, six, three. Novak did. Novak did make Nadal look like he was a player outside the top hundred ranking. That says it all, people. Who can do that? Seriously, who can do that? Who can make Nadal look like he's a player outside of top hundred? But Nadal, uh, Novak did that. Novak did one of his greatest tennis matches that I have ever seen. Really, everybody was talking that Novak Novak did his best match of his career against uh, Lucas Poil in the semifinals, and which he did. He did he did only five unforced errors against him. But considering which opponent he faced today, and he only did nine, because he didn't face Lucas Poil today. He faced Rafael Nadal, a seventeen-time Grand Slam champion, and he only did nine unforced errors and did a amazing match from the first to the last point. And that and this must be Novak's best performance that he has ever done. And I have said I have said this earlier people before. Novak Djokovic has the highest high level I have ever seen on a tennis court. When he is in that out of this world mode level, he is basically unplayable people. Nobody can touch him. When he is on that out of this world mode level, nobody can defeat him people. 
He is, just, he, is, he is simply unbeatable. And he proved that today. Even though Nadal didn't make an a amazing match, I admit that Nadal can do a much better match. I know that. 29 unforced errors is too much to, for, to be Rafael Nadal. But even, even if Nadal had, would have made a better match, he would have lost 3-1. He would, he would probably only have taken one set. He would never have beaten a Novak Djokovic in this kind of shape. Novak Djokovic, when he hits the ball this clean, he really didn't know how to miss people. He served well, he returned well, he hits his forehand well. His backhand, we, we don't need even to comment how he hits that. He, he, he was hitting his backhand like with his eyes closed, basically. So, when Novak Djokovic in, is in this out of this level mode, he is untouchable. Simple as that. He is untouchable. He is in his own league. And he shows that today. He shows that today to, to be... To be to to do like he did to Nadal today, he make Nadal look like he was an average player, like he was a player outside top hundred. Only Novak Djokovic can do can do this. I've said this before and will say it again. Rafael Nadal is the most consistent tennis player I have ever, I have ever seen. You barely never see Nadal do a disaster match. He, he Nadal was bad today. I admit that, but he didn't do a disaster match. He didn't do like over 50, 60 unforced errors. Like, like for example, Roger Federer can do. We saw that against Milman in last year, in last year US Open, when Roger Federer did over 70, 80 unforced errors. You never see Nadal do uh, that kind of matches. So Nadal is the most consistent. He, Nadal has the highest low level I have ever seen. I have said it before. He has the highest low level I have ever seen. And Novak Djokovic has the highest high level I have ever seen in my whole life. And I've seen tennis people over 30 years old. When Novak Djokovic is, when Novak Djokovic shows that out of this world mode level, he is unbeatable people. He really is. So congrats to Novak Djokovic for his very, very worthy, well-deserved 15 Grand Slam title. He truly deserved it. He was outrageous good today against Rafa Nadal. Nadal didn't do his best match in his career. Absolutely not. But that, that, but that takes nothing away from Novak Djokovic and his fabulous performance today. So congrats to Novak Djokovic's 15th Grand Slam title. And I am sure it will definitely not be his last either. So people... That was all from me today. I hope you all of you have a nice, uh, nice day and take care and see you next time. Bye bye.